folks, that turned out to be a terrible disaster for filming. The wind just blew the camera and trap head over. I don't have a weight for it to hold it down in the wind. So I'm just going to have to uh, finish the job and show you how it's done. But you can see how that saw buck worked. That is the cheapest saw buck solution I could find on Amazon. I forget why I paid for it, but it's dirt cheap. And yeah, it's working good. I'm just trying it out to see how it hold how my back holds up uh, better, you know, so I can get those logs done. I would rather stand up and buck, but those logs are so incredibly light that it it just isn't working out. But the uh, the logs left where I got these from, uh, they're much bigger. Uh, all all this stuff that I've been cutting up here to last, you know couple of videos or a couple of months yeah i'm looking in the camera i was like yeah i know i need to get my hair cut so that'll be after the log splitter video i'll be buzzing off i'll do in that log splitter video later today but uh, i'm gonna get that cut up and let you know how well that saw buck works out yeah, i got the rest of the logs cut there's a couple mixed in there but they're so dirty i don't feel like uh cleaning the dirt net off of them from snow being plowed up and it's still windier than heck amazingly i don't think you can see it yeah the tooth caught here and stuff i i do not recommend this type of saw buckets it has its purposes if you have a uh, screwed up a uh, piece where it's like you know a couple inches too long and you want to cut it more exact yeah, then it'll be fine, but not as a main saw bucket. I was able to work it out where I could stand up and buck, so something like this is going to work. Ended up with a bunch of odds and ends that'll go into my own fire pit. You know, you can't sell that, so, you know, just stash that stuff off to the side, or, you know, make a special load and all that. Oh, and I, I'm sure I got a bunch in there, but not a huge amount just you know like a little piece every log or so so yeah I do not care for this saw buck that much it's the cost way uh, cheap made in China thing uh, I'd have to see exactly what it costs I'll put that in the item description but yeah total waste of time to use it as the main method of bucking logs. I, I've figured it out with these logs that, you know, you take them down in a pile so you can brace yourself, you know, one foot on there while you buck with the other, you know, just be careful of what you're doing. And with a little practice, you can stand up and buck and work around the feet and stuff without much danger. I'd recommend getting chainsaw boots, which I don't have, and chaps. Which I do have, but I'm just, you know, too lazy to get the mountain on mountains in a hurry and keep forgetting the little things like that. Sooner or later, it's probably going to bite me in the, bite me in the rear end, but... Yeah, so I'm going to be packing up this video and get on to that video. That is the Lumberjack 27-ton log splitter from Fleet Farm. Till next time, folks, take care and get out there and cut something.